Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Emart, and we're back with something a little different. We're actually here uh, doing a interview with uh, Mr. Dan Fung Dennis, who is the director of the upcoming video project Zero Point. Dennis, how are you doing? Hey Emart, I'm good. Thanks so much for having me. Big fan of your show. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm a big fan of yours as well. Dan Fung, you're obviously a, an established you know, creative storyteller from your photography. Uh, you've been listed in a lot of you know, like big famous magazines for that. Um, and you're also, of course, uh, an Academy Award nominated uh, film director for your documentary, Helen Back Again, which is a great documentary, by the way. Um, how does it feel to now be in this kind of new style of filmmaking, uh, kind of pioneering virtual reality, 360 degree filming? It's really exciting. I mean, this is just the beginning of a new visual language, a new medium. And Zero Point is really just uh, our first experiment in, in, in VR video and, and what it can do. Uh, it's a very technical effort at the moment and, and you know, all the tools don't exist yet from the camera to the post-processing to the playback. So we've had to build a lot and, and really test and, and, and try, to, try to push forward um, the, the technical behind this. But really the exciting part is the creative challenges that lie behind uh, doing 3D 360 video. And, and you know, it's a completely un, undiscovered frontier, uh, this, this new medium. We just don't even know where to, where to begin in that, you know, all we know is that the rules of traditional filmmaking no longer apply. There's no frame. There's, you're inside of the world now. Uh, cuts are too abrupt. You've got to really have a uh, more continuous experience that doesn't break the presence. And there's so many ways to break presence. It's, it's very hard to create it. Uh, but once you get it, you, you know you've got it. Um, and it, and it just is just amazing when, when you do get to have something that actually places you in another world and, and convinces you at some subconscious level that you're actually there. And so it's, uh, it, it, I do believe that this is just a new way to tell stories in an exciting way. Uh, but this is just the beginning. And um, Zero Point is you know, our first uh, stake in the ground. Here's what we can do now. We want to release it to the VR community, uh, developers, enthusiasts that have the DK2 um, that can support us on, on Steam and, and, and download it um, on October 28th. And so we're, we're really excited to get this out and, um, and, and hoping to get feedback from the community. No, that's awesome. I, I think it's so cool because you're right. This is such a new, it, it, it's brand new kind of style of filmmaking. No one's done this before. So no one really know, has anything to really go off of. And yeah, like when you're actually in the scene, you, you're not able to edit and cut to a reaction shot, for example, to, you know, intensify a scene or anything. You literally give the person the freedom to look wherever they want. And I think that's really, that sounds exciting to be able to work in that for sure. Um, oh, sorry to cut you off there, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's um, it's awesome. But what a question I had: How quickly, when you first heard about the Oculus Rift, how fast, how long did it take you to decide, like, okay, I want to film something for this, and I even if I have to build it from scratch. So before the Rift came out, um, we were working on mobile and then creating these interactive mobile video experiences. But that was just all a stepping stone to, to VR. Uh, when I tried the DK1 for the first time, just right after the Kickstarter, uh, I knew immediately that this was going to be the medium and the platform to create powerful immersive experiences. The technology was finally going to get there. And, and you know, the VR video space, it's, it's still in its DK1 phase. Uh, it's not a polished consumer experience yet. We know that the resolution is just not quite there. We need you know one more iteration in panels to get up to 1440p uh, resolution before I think you know it really starts to to cross a threshold for for um, most consumers. Um, so you know we're kind of at our kind of DK one moment. Um, here's here's a way to kind of get a chance to see what the future may look like. Um, and you know, it's it's something that is. There's so much more work to be done. Um, but you know, we did instead of waiting for CV1 to come out, uh, we decided let's let's just get this out for DK2. Move on. We've got lots of exciting things in, in the pipeline that that we're excited to get out. Um, um, you know, in the near future as well. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, I actually got a chance, obviously, to look at the uh, kind of the trailer uh, demo down and download that through Steam um, and check that out and everything. Yeah, it's definitely made for the DK2, but it looks great um, for, you know, everything that you guys have put together. A question I had um, for you, I noticed that uh, in throughout some part, portions of the video, uh, for example, some of the interviews, 
it looked like the uh, the videos were some portions were shot on a traditional 16 9 16 by 9 frame and then you know kind of warped into virtual reality in 360 degrees so that it's comfortable in the rift was there uh, was that done uh, because you filmed these shots prior to having kind of an answer for 360 degree cameras or was there a reason behind that yeah, so we've been shooting on a lot of different types of cameras, testing out a lot of different arrangements and, right. and types of cameras. Uh, we, we, we've used DSLRs with wide angle lenses. We've used RED cameras, GoPros, and all sorts of um, numbers. Um, and just seeing seeing what works, what what feels good in VR. So the film contains actually quite a lot of these different types of cameras, and and the shots reflect that. Earlier on, you know, last year at E3, we were filming with three Red Epics, each one shooting at 5K, 60 frames per second, um, and we were able to get much of the sphere, but still have these you know kind of black seams. Um, so as our cameras got better, we were able to fill in more cameras, fill in more of those seams, the black spaces, and um, create full 360 video in stereoscopic 3D. Um, so the shots get better as our camera tech gets better, and um, things are moving so quickly and so fast. I mean, just the, the pipeline, we're iterating on it you know, every day, and it gets faster and faster, and the quality gets better. Um, so the film sort of reflects that, that you know, even during the production of this film, the tools were getting better, more advanced, higher quality, um, and some of the shots from the beginning, you know, are, are going to have those seams and those black areas and, um, you know, some of those interviews in a more traditional 16 by 9 format. Right. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we, we think we're getting, we're making tremendous progress. We've, we've learned so much. Um, and there's one shot in particular that I love. It's the, the bison shot where, you, you know, you have that herd of bison going by into the sunset and the horizon yeah and then you look over it and there it is right there and it's 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 powerful you know you you actually feel like this massive animal is right next to me um and you know that's the one shot that i think is actually demonstrates okay here here is what video looks like in vr this is what it can do and it's just the beginning of it you know and and some of the other scenes you you get you know it's it's a pretty cool to be around other people and in in a kind of space with them but my favorite one is is that bison shot that's awesome yeah it's it's one of those experiences i think that um you know you don't really get it until you try the rift you know those that you try to explain like oh yeah it's like you're there and it's so cool and they're like okay that's you know but when they really put it on and see that that 3d depth and look over and there's something staring at them right in their face like it's it's yeah it's indescribable it's crazy so that's it's cool to see yeah yeah that's amazing i'm i'm so excited to get to try out the you know the full version of the film but i'm also excited it sounds like you said, as you guys were shooting this and editing it together, you're learning new things and getting better as you go so that for like the next project, you have, you know, a new kind of platform to start from and go from there to get even better, which is that's awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, and you're right. You know, it's it's so hard to convey the experience of VR to right. someone just that hasn't tried it. And I think that's what you know you do great on your show is you you convey that level of excitement and enthusiasm that you get from from these experiences um, that is at such a visceral level. So so you know you know I think it's it's great for people to be able to kind of see um, you know what what people are how they're reacting to it, but there really is no better way than actually going into it, uh, the experience itself. Um, I've actually unfortunately got to run to my flight, but I really appreciate your time and, and, and speaking with me. Yeah, I, I know that you are on a tight schedule, so thank you for taking uh, the small amount of time you have to talk with me. Uh, it was great meeting you. Thank you for being on the show, and yeah, good luck to you with uh, the success of Zero Point and also any future projects you guys are doing. Great. Thanks so much, man. All right. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, you guys. So we just had uh, an interview with Mr. Dan Fung Dennis. Thank you again, Mr. Dennis, for being on the show. Unfortunately, he uh, didn't have too much time to chat, but for the small amount of time he had, you know, I got to meet him. That was awesome. I, I feel like I just met kind of a celebrity because he is, you know, a very actually famous film director. He's Academy Award nominated for his uh, documentary, also a famous f photographer. It's That's awesome. So... Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I know I wasn't able to address a lot of the questions that you guys had for me to ask him because he was on such a tight thing, but for what he answered, it basically just sounds like, you know, basically this is such a new thing. Uh, they're learning as they go and that even, he said it even 
shows in the movie that they are releasing called Zero Point, which again is available on Steam on the 28th, and I believe, let me double check, but it, it looks like it's on sale, excuse me, for $11.99. Uh, from October 28th through November 4th. After November 4th, it goes up to $14.99. So if you want to get it for a few bucks off, uh, pick it up sooner than later. But um, otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm probably not allowed to show the entire video, like a full first impressions thing, but I could probably show portions of it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe he'll let me show it. Um, but even if you do watch me play through the whole thing, I think uh, you should try to support them. They're, they really are one of the first pioneers of this film uh, making style. So if you have a rift and want to try it out, I definitely recommend supporting them so that they can continue working on other stuff and, uh, get them excited to keep going. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and comment down below. Um, also check out, uh, Dan Fung's, uh, website. Condition One is their, uh, production studio, their company. I'll have a link to it below in the description if you want to check them out. And yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. I appreciate it. Can't even talk. Appreciate any subscribers I can get. And I'll see you guys next time with another Oculus Rift video. See you guys. Peace.